Hey Squids, one of the things I like to do is play video games and I haven't had the chance to play a lot of video games. So what I did is I went online and I searched for used PCs that I could get really cheap because I don't have a lot of money to spend. So what I ended up doing was looking for an old used PC that I could turn into a gaming workstation. And what I ended up getting was this. This is basically just a Dell workstation and there's tons of these on eBay. You can get them for $100 uh, all the way up to $300 and they make pretty decent budget gaming rigs. This one is a Dell Optiplex 790. You could go around and there's all of these Optiplexes. You have to be careful because apparently there's some that are very slim and there's like a small form factor type of PCs. You want to avoid those I think. If you're going to build a uh, a computer for gaming on a budget you want a tower I think and I don't know anything about building PCs so this is the first time I've ever done it and I don't know much about hardware about anything one of the things I wanted to do is eventually turn this into a Hackintosh so I want to get hardware that's compatible with it so this thing is a i7 so I kind of luck got lucked out this is an i7 2600 with 8 gigs of RAM and it even had a video card this is the video card that came with it it's not a very good card but it does work fairly well for work sort of things but not for gaming so the thing that I have to do is upgrade this computer basically I think what I'm going to do is definitely get an SSD hard drive to put the OS and put the primary games I'm playing and upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs of RAM and get a video card and then a power supply. Usually with those you can get a fairly good decent gaming computer. It's an ugly looking computer but it looks very much like a workstation. One of the things I've already done to it is install a Wi-Fi thumb drive because this thing doesn't have Wi-Fi. I was kind of surprised to find out that People do use these Optiplexes to play video games and it's a fascinating little thing because it looks just like a regular work computer but it does fairly well for gaming. It's an Intel Core i7-2600 CPU at 3.4 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM. Now I've already installed some of my favorite games on here. The game I've been playing is Dying Light and Hitman. Let's go ahead and play this game just so you can see how it runs. So here we go. Here we are. It's the high settings and you can see it moves around but not very well. And it's a very loud power supply. Let me just zoom out so you can see. So if I start running and stuff, it's very blurry doesn't seem very good it's very sluggish so here are our benchmarking results frames per second 9.6 score 243 min uh, frames per second 4.7 high max frames per second 18.7 it's actually better than I thought uh, you know um, when I first tested this I only got four frames per second so I don't know how it's getting better the Dell Optiplex, I never even realized it, is that it's very easy to like upgrade. It's very modular. You don't even need the screws for a, the system. So all you do is pull this and this comes right out. Is the power supply. And the power supply is very weak. I think it's only 240 watts or something like that. And what I heard when you have the video card in there, um, you want to upgrade it. So this is an i7. Um, processor it's one of the weaker i7s but it's still a pretty decent system so one of the things i found in computers because i upgraded the ssd on my macbook pro and that did an amazing job in just speeding up the, the whole entire computer because i had the os and everything in there so one of the things i'm going to do is replace this um spinning drive with an ssd it doesn't have to have a lot of memory it could be just 250 gigabytes of SSD that I can just use this as a secondary drive for mass storage. 
In this motherboard you have four slots for memory so you can get maybe even like two more four gigs and then you'll have 16. Should be good enough to get a video card in there. I can still use this one and I might because it's a two gig one. It's not too bad. Okay, so it has to be on this one. So this is originally where the video card goes. So let's put that in there. Well guys, I am back from Micro Center, which is my local computer shop and they have everything and I'm a little confused and I'm not really even sure if all of this stuff is going to fit. The one thing I didn't get was RAM, but I kind of ran out of money. So the first thing I got was a SSD. It's 120. I was kind of thinking it's not enough, but it was $20. SSDs have come down so much in price. This is incredible. I found this power supply and I have no idea if it's going to work but I thought I'm gonna give it a try it's a 600 watt power supply which is gonna be pretty good for running this video card it was only $24 so this is the more expensive thing that I bought it's the Red Dragon Radeon RX 570 um, it's $149 so it's a, a little bit of a pricier item, the priciest item I bought. All of this total was like $200. So that seems to be a good price. If this doesn't work very well, I might just go back to this old card. This is a two gigabyte one. This is a four gigabyte one. So I don't know if it's even gonna fit. So let's get started on installing this component. I might have to take it back if it doesn't work. So, take it out of the bag here, a couple of screws. screws. There's four screws here. And it's a Phillips head, but I'm using a flat. This part of the metal, you push it in and you kind of just slide it out. And hopefully, there we go, it's coming out fairly well. And now we just have to disconnect all of these power cables. It should be fairly simple. So here is the power supply to the motherboard. This is the SATA thing. So this is the big pin that you want to remove. There's a tab on this pin and you pull it. You should pull it out. There we go, it's coming out. There we go. All right, so we're almost done with this. So we just have another cable that powers the hard drive right here. It's this one. There we go. This is the old power supply. Now hopefully the new one will fit and it's not gonna have any issues. This is the new power supply. <clears throat> we're having an issue with this. This is the part where the case kind of locks into, but even if I remove this, I'm not even sure if I can, if I can um, do anything with that. Just like everything I do, I tend to break stuff. So this tab that holds the door for the, the computer seems to be in the way. So I'm gonna remove it and it's got a spring inside. I don't know if I'll put it back, but the more important thing is that I can get the power supply in there. There we go. There we go. This big cable goes into the motherboard. Now, one of the things that I heard people do is it's a difficult... Um, it takes a lot to kind of push it in. So hold the motherboard in the back. So. What tends to happen, I guess, is that it, um, it can crack. And I think it's already in there. But I believe the SATA ones, these, are the ones that you're gonna use for your hard drive. On this Dell Optiplex 970, it's got very limited amount, but this, I think it should barely clear it. Just barely, I'm gonna have to tweak it. So the video card will fit in here and work decently. Come on, get in there. I hope it works. 
these cables are definitely kind of in the way here. All right. I was not expecting it to be this tight. And let's turn this around. I'm going to have to leave it like this just so we can test it. All right, guys, I ended up installing a video card in this and it didn't work. So I returned it along with the power supply. So I'm going to try that again. But what I'm going to be doing now is installing, hopefully I'll do this correctly, a 120 gigabyte solid state hard drive that I bought for $20. So I'm putting the operating system in here and just the games that I'm going to be playing. So let's open this up. Let's pull out this cable that supplies power from the power supply. And this is the SATA cable. Let's put that kind of like a side and let's see if we can pull this thing out. And the hard drive, that's what I like about Dells. They just pull out so easily. What we have to do first is install our thumb drive with Windows in there. Legacy boot. Well guys, now that I've installed the SSD in the computer, it boots up so much faster. I've been doing something with this Dell Optiplex 790 that I didn't think was even possible. I am video editing and I've tried to edit a few videos uh, using DaVinci Resolve 16 and I was so surprised that it works fairly fast. Here I am in DaVinci Resolve. The only issue that I have is the export times are kind of long, but once you have the video up and you have DaVinci Resolve in the SS, excuse me, the SSD, it's very easy to work with. And I got it mainly for games. It plays like older games really well, like Assassin's Creed 2. But the newer games definitely has some lag. I've been playing Dying Light and there is lag on it. So it's not a very fast system. I do, planning, I do plan on upgrading to a video card that's a little bit better, but for right now, I'm kind of happy with it. Guys, that's the Dell Optiplex 790. I was very surprised that this thing works fairly well. And you can get these online for around $100. If you can get an i7, that's great, but even i5s are really good from what I hear. Uh, I think I was lucky to get the i7, but I plan on upgrading it and see what I can do with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.